Hi, Fred here for Tuesday Tent Talk with a couple of guests, Serge Corona and Serge Corona Jr. from Circus Hollywood. Serge, tell us a little bit about uh, your family history in the circus uh, world. Well, we're, I'm fourth generation. My son is fifth and his kids and my grandkids are sixth generation. So we originally come from Czechoslovakia. Really? Uh, we came over in 1952 yeah. and my f parents did a uh, high wire. Wow. So they're real famous with that, you know, performing with circuses. And then in 1970, we started our own circus, the family. So we've been doing Circus Hollywood for many years. We're also Shriners and we raise money for crippled children with the shrines. So. Well, congratulations. And we do thank you. We thank do state you for fairs, doing that. Uh, and county fairs and corporate things. And mm -hmm. kind of we do whatever we can. And now we've opened the uh, Giraffic Park here. Rye Road uh, Giraffes. We call it the Rye Road Giraffes. Rye Road Giraffes. So Linda and I were at the property uh, back in the uh, 2017 um, and what an amazing job they've done on their property. Uh, really hurt in the circus world uh, in 2020, obviously with COVID. Uh, they have had a drive-through zoo that they've created all these fence and pens for all the animals that they had in the circus and the performers in a, in a pavilion area. Uh, but what a uh, kudos to you guys. What, what a great job you've done to all the work to the property you have. Uh, I thought they did it over three years and they told us they did it in a matter of a few months to get this drive-by circus. So with that said, uh, obviously your 2020, 2020 was uh, sort of Kaput, yeah, other than yeah. uh, your drive-by here that you've done at the yeah. uh, the farm or the uh, winter quarters. Uh, 2021, we just saw you at what, uh, what was the fair that the we Manatee just saw? Manatee County Fair. Manatee County yeah, Fair. Yeah, Palmetto, Florida. Um, what an incredible job they did with the circus. They, they were able to ha have the circus at this, uh, their local county fair, but they didn't put the fabric on the top of the towers. It's a tower tent, a little different than uh, maybe some of the tents that uh, you guys have seen uh, being a pole tent or a frame tent or a structure. Uh, it's a tower tent. So they actually put the towers up, let the performers perform, but uh, had no fabric on it. Uh, saw the circus and it was incredible. You know, underneath the stars, it's like an open air circus, uh, but no, no, fabric on it so the acoustics and the lighting was a little bit different you do a lot of the lighting and yeah, the sound it's there a lot different too especially with the lighting you know so if you don't have all the waterproof lighting it's a lot different sound yeah. but it still was uh it was a not so much a challenge but to bring in what we brought in the big top to right. outside was a little bit of a challenge with well the lighting. what out uh, you know how's uh how, how do you think 2021 is going to look or looking up i mean so, i know we just got some I mean, bad it looks news there good and it looks bad so i mean you know yeah. the spring definitely i think is not going to be good at all right hopefully in the summer it'll start picking up and things will well, calm down well kudos uh Great, great job to the property. I wish you the best in 2021, 2022. I know you've got some uh, circus dates late, late in the year, and you've got the petting zoo, and, and we wish you the best of luck. And uh, your circus comes to town, promote them, and uh, help these guys out. They had a pretty rough 2020. Uh, for Fred here at Tuesday Tent Talks, we'll see you next Tuesday at Tuesday Tent Talks.